Good morning all, it's Kevin at Kevin's Electrical Workshop again. Uh, today we're going to remove this lovely surface mount component and replace it with a good one. Uh, I will show you how to actually desolder this, the probably the easy way, without using a hot air gun, which would be the ultimate easy way. Uh, but this is just as easy and it, it involves just a soldering iron. Get a bit of space and let's clean this soldier and iron off. Hopefully, I switched it on. Right, first thing we want to do is basically flood fill across all these components. Components leads. It is early. I haven't had my morning coffee yet. I will just start to warm each side up and as you see, it's starting to come loose. It's away. All right, we don't want that. All right, now get a bit of solder wick, and we'll just clean up this area. Just gets rid of the residual old solder. There you go. So nice and clean. Now I'm going to give that a little clean. Cotton buds, isopropanol alcohol. Today we're on the actual microscope cam, which uh, it's a bit more awkward to work with because actually everything is so small, even though on camera today it's looking uh, quite large and big, it's not. Right, here we go, new component. Roughly lined up, and what I'm going to do is just tack at least one of the pins. Not with this solder. This is this is me one mil, so I'm going to probably go down to about half or something. Let's see if we can just tack a pin. Just being fussy here. Everything's on pad on the pads. That, that would do. Now I'm just gonna do a pin or two more. I'm actually struggling to get the solder. I want it. Purely because of the size. How does that look like? It's hard to tell. Very fine liquid flux. Don't know if it's going to help. I think I 
it's actually done it traps. Okay. And that's how you actually replace a surface mount component. Give it a ball a bit of clean. Alright, many thanks for watching. Tune in soon.